My name is Dr. John Aldridge. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at Hampton Roads Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Scoliosis is an abnormal curvature or bend and twist of the spine that occurs throughout childhood and can continue into uh, adulthood. Scoliosis is sort of a genetic predisposition, so there's familiarity, gets passed on from generation to generation. People think that backpacks, exercise, sports would cause scoliosis, but that's not true. But scoliosis is more of a developmental abnormality that happens just because of a fast growth rate in adolescence and childhood where it's just soft tissues can't catch up and the spine gets tethered and then causes it to rotate and twist. It's diagnosed first clinically and then radiographically confirmation. The earliest early sign is just a shoulder height or hip height difference. You look at your child or your adult and the one shoulder is higher than the other, or you look from the back side and you see one shoulder blade sticks out farther than the other. That's an early sign of scoliosis. It's more pronounced when they bend over. So if you're worried about that, you want your child to bend over, touch their toes, and you want to look at them from the back side and see if they have a straight spine or see if it curves at all. Initially, it's treated with observation. So depending on the size of the curve, if it's under 20 degrees, we usually watch and follow the child with an x-ray. So we get a full length uh, scoliosis series. Once it gets above 20 degrees, then you want to start thinking about getting a brace. And the braces are there to kind of maintain or hold the curve and keep it from getting bigger. If it's over about 40 or 45 degrees, then those patients typically end up with surgery to surgically straighten the spine out and fixate it so it doesn't grow crooked anymore. As far as activities, they don't have to be treated with kid gloves. They can go do the things that they need to do. They can play sports, football, basketball, track, soccer, and it shouldn't really affect or interfere with those activities. It just needs close observation. I wouldn't be that concerned about it. Just make sure you follow up with your doctor and don't miss those follow-up x-rays.